Well, after more than 140 years, the curtain is coming down on the so-called greatest show on earth, the Ringling Circus. One of America's oldest and most famous circuses is closing, blaming low crowds and high costs. It's a sign, perhaps, of changing public tastes. But one of its graduates, a young clown visiting Australia at the moment, says there's still a future for circus arts and the world needs laughter now more than ever. As Lauren Day reports, he and his wife have brought their new show, Airplay, to the State Theatre in Melbourne. OK. Meet Seth Bloom. And his clown and life partner, Christina Gelsoni. Hi, yeah. look. Hey, you look great. Oh, thanks. That's excellent. Needless to say, they're not exactly your average couple. <laughs> What's it like in those balloons? It's hot. Inside yeah. the balloon is a little bit hot. At first it's OK, and then it gets sweaty. <laughs> the most important thing we've learned by climbing inside balloons is not to fart. <laughs> Their romance began, appropriately, more like the start of a joke than a love story. Two clowns meet in Afghanistan. I was, I was doing a circus project for kids. And I was performing in uh, refugee camps and orphanages. We were not inside giant balloons when we met. <laughs> we started as clown partners. We were very funny together. Yes. But one day, without ever flirting, I just said, I think we should be together for the rest of our lives. And she looked at me like I was crazy. I said, no way. I can find, believe it or not, inside this balloon, mm -hmm. I can find a boyfriend uh, quite easily. But a clown partner is a very special thing. And I was like, I do, don't want to mess up our clown partnership. Turns out that Seth was right, as he usually is. And um, it's been fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> In typically atypical style, the wedding dress was crafted from balloons. It's a little weird walking in this. It was also a little weird walking in the balloon dress. But um, it's so fabulous, you just don't mind. Together, they've spent more than a decade helping teach circus in post-conflict zones to deliver social messages in places where people are often illiterate. I went to Afghanistan uh, to help set up a circus for kids and at the same time uh, to make shows with adult artists around social issues, malaria prevention, landmine awareness. And that company has now existed for over 10 years and they've toured to three million Afghans across the country. Back home in New York, they discovered a new art form that caught their imaginations. So believe it or not, in the world there's something called an air sculptor and he uses a circle of fans to blow fabrics, balloons, confetti, stuff way high in the air, make beautiful pieces of art. And we thought, hey, it would be cool to uh, collaborate with him. Clowning and air sculpting, take something that's beautiful and put it with something funny and see if we could make a show together. Airplay does just that, combining the sublime with the ridiculous. Yeah! Our story is about a brother and a sister um, because we wanted to make a universal story. We knew we were performing without words and I wanted to have a show that was true everywhere. And romance is a little bit different from country to country, but siblinghood, growing up together as childhood friends, is universal. Seth Bloom trained as a clown with the famous Ringling Brothers Circus. Just days ago, Ringling announced it was closing after 146 years. The company cited declining attendance figures and high operating costs, raising questions about the future of traditional circuses. I think people are interested in different things. Ringling Brothers especially brought spectacle to America. Big tent shows, 15,000 people, things you've never seen before. Acrobats, elephants, lions. Nowadays you can see that on YouTube. And I think people are interested in a different kind of spectacle. Is that sad to see that change in public taste? I mean, yes, and we have to adapt. So circus is moving much more into theatres and much more out of tents, and I think people want more closer, intimate experiences. So you think there is still a future for that kind of entertainment? Absolutely. You might have to squint a little bit to see it. It'll change its form. You won't, might not recognise it as circus, but it will still be around. <laughs>